Welcome to this episode of What a Horse. I mean, I'm going to turn everything over to my partner in crime, Jerry Williams. Well, I guess we're going to go to the commercial right here. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Every year thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd when the world grand champion Tennessee Walking Horse will be crowned. Conduct the celebration today at 931 684 5915 and reserve your seats. Then come out and enjoy five days and ten nights of the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Six time world champion in amateur and open competition, four times amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931 389 6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> Well, we're back. Jerry yes, said he wasn't reading up <laughs> I'll tell you what, this weekend, starting Thursday, we've got the Summer Sizzler at the, at the Cal Sonic. That's going to be a great show. But there's also the versatility is going on in, in Murfreesboro, and it's Friday and Saturday over there. That's the breeder's versatility. That's going to be great. In Marshall County, July 22nd, Link Webb's going to be the judge over there, and that's the 64th, I believe it is, yes. show mm -hmm. for them, or 46th show, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting way ahead. But now that's going to be a great show. Then the red carpet is Saturday night. You can call, uh, for information on the red carpet, you can call Pat Ford at 931-478-0728. Start time, 6 o'clock. Brent Grider's going to judge. I'm going to get back to the Horseman Association because... They're giving away three scholarships over there, and that's that's the horsemen's doing this yes. for. I think they're two thousand dollars scholarships, but now that that's really something. Oh, that, that is. That's that's a good thing right there. Their judge going to be Link Webb, which I've seen Link judge. He's a great judge. Yes. Uh, John Fikes is going to judge the uh, Tweba Summer Sizzler, but it's going to be it's going to be a real good show too. This, there's three kids. I've got names here if I can find them right quick. Ashlyn Jones, Gracie Steely, and uh, Clara Jean Thompson. They're the ones that's going to receive the scholarships. And that's just an example of what the walking horse industry does because this is just one show. Yes. 
but it, people don't realize what the walking horse means to different communities. And this right here is an example. We got three kids going to get scholarships thanks to the Horseman Association and the Marshall County Horse Show. So that's that's going to be good. That is. That's a great thing. Okay. Now we do have uh, one thing this week, Jerry, that you and I we could sit here and be quiet and listen to. Uh, Jeffrey hired. I did an interview with Jeffrey, and um, he went over a little bit of the industry. Now we're going to go show part of it. The rest of it is on the What a Horse TV video group Facebook page and my Facebook page, and we have uploaded it to just the, the timeline. So. Anybody can see it. It's well worth listening to. There's a lot of good information yes. in, in the entire interview. So if that's ready, let's go ahead and play Jeffrey's interview. I'm here with Jeffrey Howard, and uh, we're going to talk about the industry today. All right. uh, I know that y'all have done a lot of renovations at the Celebration Grounds. Won't you tell the people something about, a little bit about that? Yeah, sounds great. Um, things, are, things are moving over there right now. Um, so we had some storm damage to some barns, some of the older barns, and so we have torn down uh, a couple of those barns. There will be three new barns uh, built in time for the celebration. I think in total it's 48 uh, stalls and 10 porches uh, that will be a part of that. It won't be additional stalls because we tore down uh, some of the barns that were damaged. So that's a really good uh, thing that we've got going on. Obviously the new gate, uh, the main gate that will be named after uh, my dad. Uh, so the David L. Howard gate there and uh, along with that gate right there some of the entryway uh, to the uh, Blue Ribbon Circle Club has is a part of that renovation right there so new fencing a new gate in and out of the uh, Blue Ribbon Circle into the arena uh, so some really nice things going on there um, we had a sinkhole in center ring in the outdoor mm -hmm. arena uh, and so that has been repaired, but as a result of that, we had to re-turf uh, with a new type of Bermuda, the entire center ring mm -hmm. there. So there'll be new turf. Uh, and then also, uh, the state of Tennessee, uh, we received a grant, $150,000, towards the changeover in footing inside Calsonic and Champions Arena. That will not be changed for the celebration, uh, uh, in time for the celebration. Uh, and we'll always be able to go back to the surface that, that yeah. our walking horses prefer, but it will allow us to uh, attract different types of horse shows and more horse shows, and so that's kind of been a focus. So a lot going on, uh, and even a couple other things, Jerry, that I think by the time the celebration gets here, Warren will be able to announce uh, some uh, some other deals that will be happening on the showground. So yeah, a lot going on there. I do want to bring it up that uh, I had talked with Warren and. Uh, and Connie about the national anthem. And I got some buddies of mine, which is the Flat River Band. And uh, they are going to do the national anthem the first Saturday night, but they are also going to play two hours before. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably on a flatbed, but I just hope everybody comes out and listens. These guys are, are really great. and. Chad, I've invited him and his family came down before for the celebration. They loved it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, he started buying walking horses <laughs> for his kids to ride on the farm. But uh, that's something that... that just... Man, one, thank you for, for getting that done. Um, absolutely. I, I think one of the things we all used to remember was being on the showgrounds prior to the start of the show. That's it. I remember going to wanting to see the horse that was competing for this or for yeah. that and getting hats and t-shirts, whatever. So anything that we do uh, to be able to bring that type of a festive atmosphere, people from our community, surrounding communities, mm -hmm. that we can get them to our show to maybe see the Flat River mm -hmm. Band or anything like that is a huge positive for us. I, I do think it'll be well attended. Uh, we, we've had something similar in the past and it was well attended right oh, yeah. there. I do think that area where you're talking about doing it will be part of the renovations that have been done to that gate and to the entrance to, to the arena. So man, that could be a really great atmosphere um, and for people to get to enjoy and then see horse show afterwards. Oh yeah, well the last time I remember they just funneled right on in to watch the horse show. That's right. So That's right. I'm looking forward to it. I know Chad and them are looking forward to it. They're, they're going to do some uh, uh, short clips that we're going to play leading yeah. up to it to get more people interested. But I am looking forward to it. Yeah, I think that'll be a, a, a big addition, and, and again, thanks for doing mm -hmm. that.
but we got it done. Jeffrey, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Everybody to remember to go to the Water Horse TV video group Facebook page or our regular Facebook page. We've got that up on YouTube yes. to where people can hear that whole interview because there's a lot of information in there about the uh, Horse Protection Act and the PAST Act on what's being done. Uh, it was just too long to put on the show, but there, there's some very good information. The people that have listened to it have called me and said, hey, th this is good. I suggest it is, it is everybody. very good. I watched it. You watched it? Well, then, yes, you, then you know. Good. Uh, yeah. Jeffrey was very forthcoming and gave a lot of real yes. good positive information, really. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to go to Cornersville, Tennessee. You ever been and, to Cornersville? Yes, I have. Okay, I, I just wondered. Pretty good show. We're going to go down there and watch some horses. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, they, they, had a, they had a good show. They did have a real, a good, real show. good show. They're, they had some good numbers, too. Okay, well, it was a really good class. Well, Kimberly Walden was tickled with this because prime time, her horse won it, and uh, he looked great. Prime time player, Bill Calloway took the blue. Midnight at Dixie was reserve. Jen Shockwave, the high line in keeping faith, finished out the ribbon. That Midnight at Dix Dixie's uh, was uh, a good horse. Link yes. Webb was riding mm -hmm. him. But I'm going to have to say, primetime player looked awful good out there. Real nice. Well, they say Bill Calloway doesn't take one to the show. He doesn't think he's going to win. Yes, <laughs> you're right about he, that. He's got some good horses, buddy. Kimberly and Harry Walden on the entry of Shelbyville. Right here's a show pleasure class. And there wasn't but three horses in here, but I'm gonna tell you, they was three good horses. Back in Black, in Knox Blackburn for Shamrock Farms, right there, took the blue. Mojo Jazz, Clay Sanderson for Shane Porterfield, right there he is. And then Dreaming in Dixie, Alex Denny for Sidney Allen, took home, took the third place, and he did a good job. But I yeah. like that horse right that there. That was a nice horse. Ask your show pleasure horses to go at a red walk now. Getting it done. Look at the cars, Jerry. Now that was that's the country atmosphere. Oh, yeah. A good country show. It's just a, another example of the community coming together. You were right about that. Right there he is, back in black. Back in Black and Knox Blackburn. We're in the blue here in Cornersville. That's Back in Black and Knox Blackburn. Your Riders Cup Show Pleasure winner. That's Mike yeah, Davis. Keep, well, that Mike Davis Back keep pulling out these Knox Show Pleasure horses. Oh yeah. I like that one right there. Now he's he's all right. He's a good one. Amateur two-year-old bears and gildings. Have you ever heard of a ringer? No. Well, that, that's when someone slips a player into a football game and uh -huh. that's way, way, way out there by itself. Carol Baxter did that because Josh has been showing this mare. Yeah. <laughs> and here she comes in on him in the, in the two-year-old amateur division. Jimmer's country girl, right there she is. And Carol Baxter took the blue. Charlie's Rocket and Blake Sims was reserved. Sky's Masterpiece, Christy Guthrie. I am a touch of Jose, Caitlin Rippey. In hard times with Jen, Sister Milligan finished out the ribbon. Right there went Christy, now she was on a pretty yeah, nice horse. Do you know, all these were good. Oh yeah, all of them were good horses. But, but Carol, Carol pulled a quickie, because Josh had been showing that mare. She said, if he can, I can. <laughs> That's a nice mare. It is a real nice mare. It all really helped Jimmer's breeding out yes. at Sugar Creek.
Right there she is, Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter. Carol's a real nice lady. She is now, real she, nice. she is super nice, for, for super nice time. lady. Jimmer's country girl and Carol Baxter. She's saddled up and getting it done, ain't she? Yep, she is. Right here is Cappuccino and Kimberly Walden. Trail Pleasure Amateur, five and under. Now, she was reserved, but I'm going to tell you, Sometimes I don't think that right there gets her just yes. due, because that's a good horse. Hayden is, is one of the young guns coming up. He loves to ride these horses. He does a good job, too. Oh, yeah. Now, he he does really good does. Job. Yeah. He hasn't been riding that long either. He likes it. Oh, yeah. He gets with it. Honored in Texas. Honored in Texas. Right and Bob Adcock's got a stable full of horses. Oh, yeah, he got it. Good ones, good ones, too. Fifteen two and under, form a line right there, and Josh Watts took the blue, and Carol Baxter bought that horse after that show. Okay, <laughs> so that's a nice got, horse, right? Yes, there. it is. She just got her another. He's Captain America, and Bill Calloway was reserved. Star Power, Mickey McCormick. He's a Jose, Jimmy McConnell, and Lieutenant Horatio Kane finished out the ribbons. That was a big class. Oh yeah. Did y'all show any? And we show one. Show one. Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking I saw Jeremy down there. He had on a white horse t-shirt. I yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did you get any of their fried peach pies? Yes, I did. Hey, I walked good. over as soon as I got there and bought five. <laughs> they, I, I was there when they was $2 a piece. Then they went $3 a piece. Yeah. Now they're $4 a piece, and I'm still buying the same number. <laughs> Form a line. I, I, Josh that's, I tell you what, Josh is, is one of the, he's young, still, you know, young, yeah. but he's in that age right between uh, what they call it, experienced and, and young trainers. Yeah. Because I believe he's in his mid 30s. Yeah, Josh, been, he's a real good guy. I mean, I've been knowing oh, guys ever since they little kids. Oh, him. We were raised dead. up. Yeah, we were raised up down there. With each other. All them down there is good. It, oh, yeah. I talk to his wife every now and then during the celebration, and she, she's a real sweet person. Dale, you can't beat Dale. Yeah. He's, he's his brother good. Jonathan. He really, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. One final and right here, walking Mr. Charlie and Jimmy McCall. This is your steak horse winner. He put on a show. A lot of people think, well, you're in there by yourself. Well, I'd rather be in there with a bunch than by myself. With all eyes on you. You got it, buddy. Everybody's watching every move you, you make. make. That's right. And Jimmy, he just doesn't care. He's going to ride, period. Move over, sit down, and be quiet. I'm coming through. Hey, 
That's a good horse right it there, Terry horse. and Lisa Smith. Yeah. All right. Now, you going to take us to commercial again, or are we going to talk? Oh, we can go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't go to commercial all the time. We've got to talk a little. <laughs> but I, I, do, I do appreciate all of our sponsors. Oh, yes. We couldn't pay you the big dollar. If, if we, <laughs> I mean, we've got to do something. We're, we're, trying, we're going to try something new. I'm going to tell them. We're going to try something new. We're going to try to make Jerry's grandson a, a model horse showman. Yes. Is that what? We're going to try. Model, we're going to work on it. We're, we're going to work on it and see. But yeah. if, if we fail, he can always blame us. That's right. That's it. You're now, exactly right. Now we'll go to commercial. How's that? That'll work. That'll work now. We'll be right back. <laughs> Again to Win started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old grand championship, and then Jen would go on to win world championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With world and world grand championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're, we're going to uh, Manchester now. Yeah. And y'all had a good time. Yeah. yeah had Jeremy a good show. showed a real good show pleasure horse over. There. Everybody was talking about it. Richard Garns, Drew showed a good one. Yes. Drew showed a couple of good, good ones. Horses, now he, yeah. We're going to show a horse in a little bit that where Drew Graves, amateur goes in there and wins the amateur stake, and Drew says, well, heck, we'll go back in there and win the stake, and they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, Tom Meek was beside himself. Oh, yeah, that's a good he, horse. That's he even had horse. his picture made with Drew. You believe in that? <laughs> I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Team Tree 784. I am big enough. Tell you what, that little lady right there can flat oh, yeah. ride a horse. Can back up. Here I come. She can get it done. Uh, 
Yeah, both of them young girls get a flat ride now. They don't, they don't mix meat when they get out there. They get to it. Right there is genetic 4G and Winky Groover. Two-year-old stallion winner. I tell you, that horse looked good. Yes. Old Keith Hayes was, was beside himself. I don't blame him. We all tried to wink him before long, probably trying to get Keith on one of them. <laughs> yeah, probably so, but he, he did good. Winky brought some good horses over there. And here's honor to Mr. Guest, and you do that one. You know all about this horse. Oh, that horse is a good horse, I tell you. Jeremy done a good job on that horse. Thanks, Miss Virginia. She's a real nice lady. I just got off the phone with her when, when he showed. Honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen. You're right up show pleasure winner. The Evergreen Walking Horse Star Mountain Entry of the Buckle. Honors to Mr. Guest and Jeremy Jensen. Congratulations. I'll tell you, that's a good horse here, too. That horse right there can flap walk. Yes. Now he can flap walk. So proud for the going. No, I am too. I'm happy I'm for him because so that, that, that's a good looking horse yeah, right there. That is a good horse. Richard Linder's real good people. Drew doing them a, a real good job. Yeah. Well, they ought to be proud of that one right yeah. there because he's that one right there's got it all together. That's right. Right here's Mr. Lyman and Tom Meek. Now, oh, yeah. he, he won the canter, amateur canter championship. Tom really enjoyed these horses now. He's, well, he's got some good ones. He got some real good ones. That he always horse, did have some real good horses. That horse right there gets better every year. Oh, yeah. The older he gets, the better. The better he gets. But what, ladies and gentlemen, what we're pointing out now is the fact that Tom showed this horse in the counter championship amateur and then Drew, the trainer, brought him That's back right. in in the state class and won it. That's what and you call a real good horse right there, a real true horse right there. A true horse, a well taken care That's of right. horse. So my, my point is this, all this stuff they talk about, what a six ounce action device does, right there is proof. Hey, the horse had to go through inspection they, twice, twice too. That's right. In and out twice. Mm -hmm. So he was inspected four times in one night. So you just think that horse right there had an amateur rider on him first. That's it. Turn around and come back and put a professional to train on it and one again. So that horse is good both hey, ends. He, amateur he, and open. Coming in going that says a major statement for the Tennessee Walking You are exactly right. And I want to thank Tom Mink for advertising that horse because really that right there it. speaks for itself how good the horses are. That's right. Cut none. Now we're going back for some older victory passes, back into Christmas in July. Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith for Walden and Smith, country pleasure winner. And I want to thank Kimberly Walden again because she is one good horse person. Yes. She, she cares about the horses, she cares about the youth. She shares horses. She, she could be showing them horses and not let nobody else show them. Mm -hmm. But she chooses to let other people enjoy the Tennessee walking horse. It's first night out. There's first night out in Alley Joe. If they had a ride your wild goat class, Alley Joe won't be She'd be, she'd be right <laughs> she there with would. it, she'd ride it. They, we were having a conversation about her the other day. She got a lot of tomboy in her. Yeah. Because she, she just loves to be around the horses. All these pledging horses coming up for a real big show that international. Oh, Lord, yeah. Everybody getting suited up for well, that. Well, you know, they've got the uh, versatility going on this weekend, the yes. breeders' versatility. That is a major show. And then the Sizzler, they've got from 12 till 4, 
they've got different competition out there, youth competition for a little bit of everything. Yeah. Here's Dark Rain and Taylor Walters from Molly Walters. I, I really and truly like that. He's little with a big way of going. That's right. When you see a good horse like that, you can watch him all day, seven days a week. Every, all the time. Yeah, they just, uh, he's something. They, they said Taylor really fell in love with that horse. Said she really liked him. And when a woman really likes horses, it means number one, they love the way they feel when they're riding them. That's right. And they're, eat, they're not hard to manage. Right here, title defense and Samantha Green for Evergreen Walks Horse Farm. Your Wada Auxiliary Member winner. That's another good one. It's a nice horse right there. And Samantha can get it done. Yes. Right there, honors to Mr. Guess and Jeremy. Now here's one, he, 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 he was a fan favorite over there. Yeah. But this weekend, he blew him away. But yeah, that's right. That always makes a, a bulletproof show almost every time he shows. Jeremy, I think Jeremy has got, got his number yeah. where they kind of mesh because I watched Jeremy this week and he looked great yeah. on him. Right here, Epic and Megan Hammond, show pleasure amateur winner for Shamrock Farms. That's another, that's another nice horse. These good ones you can just put a stamp on that says Mr. Yeah. Automatic, mm -hmm. that's one of them. You got your Mr. Automatics and your Miss Automatics. That's right. That's a Mr. Automatic. Mm -hmm. Charlie's Perfect Danger and Taylor Tyler Balkum for Tara Rose. Now here's another good mare. Now she is a real good mare. Big mare too. Yep, real big mare. Oh, Tyler's got a barn full of good horses yeah. and good customers. Mm -hmm. Tyler Balkum and Charlie's Perfect Angel, congratulations. I'm not even going to say nothing. And then you, that one says it all for itself hey, right there. He, he says everything he's be said. Yeah. Told Bob I didn't see one thing wrong with that horse. My name wasn't on his paper. Yes, you were right. I do like a good horse, yeah. and right there, he's got everything. Quite an honor. Quite an honor, Beth and Beasley, Beth Beasley. I'm gonna tell you what, I, I really like that man. Oh yeah. And Beth, Beth does a great job of showing She does a really good job of showing it. You know, them horses like, like that mare right there is a real steady mare, you know. Mm -hmm. They work all week and she come in about once a week to come mm -hmm. ride on the show and, and that mm -hmm. mare right on one every time you get ready to go on the show ring. I don't believe John Allen has been beat on it. No. Uh -huh. But, uh, I mean, there's a difference between the amateur and the, and the trainer when it comes to showing. But now I've, I've seen John Allen show that mare yeah. and, and Beth does a great job of showing it. Mm -hmm. The Shark Queen. Here's the Char Queen. That's another mare that she's got that's a good one. 
This is only two years yeah. old. The Shark Queen and John Allen Callaway to the blue. She's gonna win her share of blue ribbons this year. I can tell you that. And she's in a she's in a tough tough division oh, yeah. because there's a well we got a bunch of good two year old studs and two year old mares too. These these fillies they're they're something else. I'm just glad. I believe ain't right. They supposed to have two year old world champion filly. Yep, that this year. And that's I believe good. that's right. I mean, that's that's something I need to talk to Warren about when I interview him. Yeah. That's, and here's on the slide. Yep. I like that little baby. <laughs> she does a good job on that she horse. She does. She does a good job. Right there is Miss Dixie Carter and Molly Walters and Taylor Walters. That's mother and daughter teaming yep. up to go out and put it on them. That Am Am's a good class. It is a good class. All your amateur amateur champions at the Christmas and July Horse Show. Miss Dixie Carter, Molly and Taylor Walters from Murfreesboro. You know, those two right there are about as much alike. Now, they are. Oh, yeah. You talk to Molly and talk to Taylor, and they, they're a lot alike in many, many ways. Right there, Twisted with Honors and Allison Armstrong. That was her first time on him yeah. to ride, I mean, to show. She had ridden him a couple of times at the barn. But she said she liked that horse ever since the first time she saw him. Thing. There's a king thing and Bob Adcock, amateur 50 and over winner. Real nice horse. Oh, yeah. Bob and I talked some over at the Manchester show. Him, he and his wife were over there. He uh, he was just enjoying the show that day. Though. Yeah, I seen him. That's why I was telling him. I said, it's so awkward not to see you with a riding suit on. <laughs> That's it. You don't see him much without a riding yeah. suit. He's a real nice guy. I think a lot of it. Yeah. Right here is Ritz Revival and Brandon Ashire for Silver and Barn. Two year old first time out winner. I be smoking Joe and Keith Johnson. He probably had to bribe his grandchildren and let he him ride had that horse. Him. I need a blue ribbon. Please, <laughs> please <laughs> let me ride your horse. Yep. I like that name. <laughs> I do. Yep. I was a smoking Joe fan. I love to watch him fight. Me and Pocahontas. Right there, me and Pocahontas. Pro Am. Allison Armstrong and Tyler teamed up to go get it. Yes. There's another. That mare right there is what you call Miss Automatic. Oh, yeah. We need us a bunch of them, you know. Oh yeah, studs and bags. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Dixie Rita. I tell you what, 
I'm gonna just tell it. I voted today. Uh-huh. Across the board Republican, except one. I voted independent and voted for that young lady's mother. I voted for Christy Bell. But Aaliyah, she gets my vote as far as showing sure, horses, yeah. buddy. So that young lady can flat show. Here's Boone Jen and Jimmy McConnell from Mike Floyd, your four-year-old stallion winner. I like that horse, I like that name. And the owner is, is just a super good guy. You're right. Mike Floyd, he's yeah. just super good. And right there he is. One of your top contenders, folks. Mark One and Jimmy McConnell yeah. from Molly Walters. The Walking Horse State Class winner. What, he's, he's looking good. Looking real good. I'm gonna tell you what, we got a lot of good looking steak horses oh, yeah, this year. It ain't, gonna be, it ain't gonna be no cakewalk. No, uh -uh. They're out there going after I'm each other. I'm glad to see that. I'm oh, very glad to see that. I want them, I want them mixing it up. Yes. I tell you, take us to commercial again. Well, I guess we'll go to commercial. <laughs> I like the way you do it. <laughs> I had a knee replacement, so they've got me in life care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi-night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, welcome back. We're going to go and look at some money tree and some woodberry. Yes. We, we, had a, we had a big weekend, weekend four oh, last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, five days of shows. Right there's Ali Joe Jacobs, Equitation. That young lady is going to be hard to beat oh, in yeah. that division, I'm going to tell you. Because all she's going to do is get better. Get better. That's get it. Better and better. I grant you, she ain't going to go backwards. She works too hard at it. And she got a good supporter, her dad and her mom. Oh, yes. She got yeah. a good supporter. Her dad supports her 100%. Yeah. But now, she's got a lot of people that watch her and see. This kid studies everything now. Yeah. I mean, she does not take a back seat. She wants to know, no, yes. and she'll ask questions. Right there is Habanero Picante and Abby Smith for Perry and Kimberly Walden. So that's another example of Kimberly Walden's generosity, really, because she is uh, she loves to work with these kids let them get out and do something. Yeah. And she's got some fantastic horses. That's a testament to how good them horses are. That's right. Five, 
Right there is my ticket to ride and race you, mate, Tyser. I love to watch her ride. Oh, yeah. I mean, she Sits is. Up. Her riding ability and her equitation skills, I mean, they're right up there with the best of them. That's right. She had some good instructors that taught her how to ride. Oh, yeah. Cole Hahn and Allie Jo Jacobs. They've been under winner. Talked to a gentleman down in Cornersville. He was talking about his granddaughter, which is a little bit bigger than Allie Jo. Uh -huh. And he said he didn't know about her being on one of them big horses. He had moved into Cornersville from up north. And I yeah. told him, I, I said, I know a little lady that's six years old. Rides a 16-1 horse. And he said, what? I said, that, I said, you need to, you need to catch up on this. Yes, yeah, right. And uh, then we talked about places he could take his granddaughter over there to ride. Uh -huh. Here's extra special Jose and Emma Wright for Kegel and Wright. I hope Gail is doing better. I've seen where Emma, she yeah. won again down Parker's Crossroads. Yes. Sammy got to see that. That's a, that's a, the Wright brothers. Oh yeah, good guys. But them kids. Oh yeah, they're special too. Very special. Right here's Mr. True Blue and R. M. Kelly. Tell you what, this ain't a big horse, but he's loud. Hey, yeah, he he walks all over. I'm surprised someone ain't called him and bought him because he can canter, he can do it all. Yeah. And I don't know, he may measure pony. I don't know that he would, but I believe he would. Right there's Gigi's Majestic and L.C. Bradford, William Bradford Country Pleasure Amateur winner. Tell you what, that one's seen his share of the blue ribbon. That's right. Been winning for a long time. Tell you what, it's hard to beat a good horse oh, once yeah. they lock in and if they got the talent in that right there does. The only way you're gonna beat him is with a pencil. Yep, that was full of talent. Right knocking boots in Kimberly Walden. But I believe Kimberly bought this horse. Okay. I believe she did. Right there, she's limiting. Now, you talking about Miss Automatic? Yeah. That right there is Miss Automatic. Mm -hmm. She just gets in there and gets it done. She does her thing.
You know everybody to talk. I'd heard that they they was doing embryo transplants with that one. If they, I would. I would do. Right there, uptight Jose and Bruce McDonald. Bruce got a string of good horses. Yeah. He's got some real good three-year-olds. Real good. And right there's one of them, Cavender, Knox that's, Blackburn. That's a nice horse. Yes, it is. Tell you what, he stole the show at the trainer show yeah. and then turned around at one of the cancer show, I believe it was. Uh-huh. He's gonna be showing his stuff this year, I can tell oh, you yeah. that. That's, that's another good one. It ain't nothing like at that celebration when you're looking in and you have a ring full of good ones. Oh, man, when you look out there and all of them fluid and walking like that and right That's there right. was going out, mm -hmm. you're cooking with gas. That's man. right. You are. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to do Woodbury. That was a good show up oh, yes. there. Queen Elizabeth. Lord, there you are, Jerry. Yeah. Right around half that little boy did good. He done good. Connor Van, Van Divner. Van Divner. It's hard for me to pronounce, too. Mm -hmm. Well, we just did. If I butchered it, yeah. blame me. <laughs> Connor, he loves he got, horses. He got that smile on his face, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth. We need to practice an umbrella around it. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Right there's Coach Cal, reserve up there. I tell you what, I, Allie Joe, she loves to ride. She's gonna smile one way or the other. Oh yeah. Coach Cal's a former do. world champion. Oh, oh yeah. Right here is Kid Can Do, and I want everybody to look. I got a kid ad on my desk today. Yeah. I ran into Robert. Robert said, hey. That's Kid Can Do. He gave me that, and I like that name. I like that horse. It's a prime example. That horse just triggered something. When they gilded him, yeah. he's just that much better. Oh, yeah. Good horse, real good horse. Right there. I really like this pony. Oh, yeah. Now I do. I like that pony. That young lady could really, really storm the celebration oh, yeah. on that one. She can. I'm busting loose in Caitlin to sell for Kelly to sell. Looking good. Here's Zaro Jr. and John Allen Callaway. I'm gonna tell you what, our four-year-old. Oh, that's hey, right. We got a bunch of them now. A bunch of good ones. You know, you can almost take these horses, these amateur folios, and put them in that open folio class. It's good. They, I mean, hey, it's, it's a, good a bunch of them. Yeah, a bunch of the amateurs. I'm gonna tell you what, a bunch of these amateurs could go in there. They're good enough riders. Yeah. And I mean, we've had some great ones. That's right. Here's Super Bowl MVP and BB Beasley.
You know, sometimes some of these uh, amateurs, they actually ride the horse better. That's right. Than the than the trainer, but it's because they've ridden him probably more well, in yeah. the long run mm -hmm. than the trainer. Right there's Honor's Image and Tanner Burks, four-year-old winner for Shane Porterfield. Now Shane's a good guy. Oh yeah, Shane, yeah, Shane, Shane is. He's a big supporter of the industry. And the Burks brothers, you know who they remind me of? The Pascals. That's, yeah. <laughs> They do. They get it done now. They they can black do it. Here's El Umbre in black and Jake Jacobs. I like that name. Oh yeah. He and I talked about that name and being the dressed in black uh -huh. Johnny Cash. <laughs> El Umbre. I think right there, Jake's first time I'm showing the horse. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. He's a good one. Yep. Good deal. All right. That didn't... Concludes our show for the week. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on over. I tell you what, everybody, don't forget Thursday night, Cal Sonic, Summer Sizzler, the Breeder Summer Sizzler. Then Friday, Marshall County Horsemen Association. Support that show. Yeah. They're giving them scholarships away. You need to support it. All them, them scholarships stay in Marshall County for Marshall County yeah. kids. Be a good thing to do. And then we're going to travel to Pulaski, Tennessee for the red carpet. That's all. That this is always a good weekend. Oh yeah. It really mm -hmm. is. Three shows, three good, good show. you know, sets of classes. We'll see three state classes. Yeah. And you know, several times in the past the one that won in Murph uh Lewisburg won celebration. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll right. see everybody. Tell everybody bye, Jerry. Be good today. Y'all be good. Hope y'all have a good weekend. Come see the horse shows. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.